Job's uh, chapter 7, right? Chapter 7, verse 3 through 4. Go ahead. Verse 3. Listen to Job. Four. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. It says, So I have been allotted months of futility, mm -hmm. and wearisome nights have been appointed to me. Verse 4. When I lie down, and I say, When shall I arise? Mm -hmm. and, and night be ended. For I, have, for I have had my fill of tossing till dawn. I've had my fill of tossing till dawn. I can't. I can't get no rest. I'm afflicted day and night. When the daytime comes, I wish it was night. I could probably get some rest. But then I'm not getting rest. I wish it was day. Y'all be like that? Y'all like yeah. know our ancestors was like that. Right. They got no rest. Our ancestors went through that too. They sleeping. My great great grandmama sleeping. And then she hear a boot, sound of boots coming. This is the way my grandma told the story. She hear boots coming. And she hear a lantern and keys. And the door slowly opens. And there's a pack of keys. And when she hear that pack, she know what time it was. Yeah. That's the master coming. She know what time it was. So she had to go and do what the master please. No rest. Same thing for the men. I could, there are more stories about that, but we got young people. Well, let me go on. So, you got Revelation 9 6. Listen. Revelation 9 6. Uh -huh. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it. And shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Now that's a future event, but y'all see it happening throughout history. Y'all see that? See, John is looking at a future event that happened in our time, and it happened in the past, and it happened during what I'm reading here in the book of Deuteronomy, in the book of the law. Y'all see that? Right. Now that was those are my verses about scattered. And I hope y'all caught that in you all spirit. A sign on the people. First sign is that they've been what? Scattered. The next sign is bondage. Listen to this. Uh, we are in verse 68, the final verse. And the Lord shall bring thee unto Egypt again, again. with ships. By the way thereof I spake unto thee Thou shalt not see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for slaves and slave women. And no man shall buy you. Listen to this. As far as the uh, what Josephus said. This verse seems especially to point out an event which took place during the destruction of Jerusalem by Titus. See this? During the desolation, there were numbers of captives that were sent to sea into Egypt and to other countries. And they were sold for slaves at the highest price. The ones who were not purchased, they perished from want and need. For the multitude was great, and their purchasers would find no price. They were begging to be sold into slavery, and nobody would buy them. Then some were sold into slavery, and they were wishing they could be free. Right. Sound familiar? Yeah. Right. Now that's during the siege of Jerusalem. Now, go to Jeremiah 44 and 12. Listen, Jeremiah 44 and 12. Yeah. Sister Smith, I'm going to give you this. Um, has I'm going to give you this. and Because uh, I have it. Okay. Right. So Jeremiah 44 and 12. Jeremiah 44 and 12. Mm-hmm. And I will take the remnant of Judah, who have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to dwell there. And they shall all be consumed and fall in the land of Egypt. They shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. They shall die for the least to the greatest, by the sword and by famine. And they shall be an oath, an astonishment, a curse, and a reproach. Jeremiah. That's the book of Jeremiah. That's Babylonian. Y'all see that? Right. That's just Jeremiah. So now, they, our people always looking back. 
I had it better in the past. Well, that's Egypt represents bondage. Yes. I remember back in the day, I had it better. It was easier when I wasn't serving God. You ever say that sometimes? I didn't have all these problems. When I was living for Satan, when I was in the world, when I was in bondage, smoking weed, drinking, chasing women, doing all that stuff. It's so like I had more money and less problems. Yeah, I heard the song, More Money, More Problems. No, when I had more money, I thought I had less problems. But I was void of Christ. I was in Egypt. I was in my sin. Every time they went back to Egypt, calamity. He said, y'all go back there if you want to. I'm going to take you back to Egypt in ships. I'm going to put you back in bondage. The Egyptian, I wish I had a map up here. The Egyptian empire was huge. It stretched all the way over to Spain, Morocco, northern Africa, parts of northwest Africa. That's where our people went when Rome came. They don't teach you this in school in history class. They went to the mountains. I don't see no mountains in Saudi Arabia. Where are these mountains at? What are they talking about? Where are these people go? And they kept getting pushed further and further west until he put them on ships again and brought them to good old America. I'm going to take you back again. Again? What do you mean again? Look at a map of Israel and you'll see how Sinai how it's all connected and how the ancient Egyptian empire, how big it was. Look at a map of how big the Roman empire was yes. and how it stretched over in parts of Africa. Mm -hmm. right. They don't tell us this. You will be a byword, nigga. Mm -hmm. You will be a byword, African-American. Mm -hmm. Those are bywords. Negro. Color. Jigaboo. Ace. Right? These are names we've been called right. throughout history. Right. By words. Everybody's calling us everything but who we are. We're supposed to be light and salt. This is not to say, well, I'm, I know I'm Israel. Well, okay, big deal, you Israel. You know who you are. You came into your identity. Not what you're going to do about it. I'm going to live for Christ and I'm going to spread the good news of the kingdom. This brother preached a beautiful message about the gospel of the kingdom yesterday. He said when the gospel of the kingdom goes forth, Pastor Smith, power come behind it. It should be a healing. Something should take place. It should be a change. How many times have you sat and heard a gospel message and nothing happened? It should be something that you can come back next Sunday during testimony time and say, man, let me tell you something. My cancer reading went from yes, yes, uh -huh. hallelujah. Yes. Man, you must be sitting under some power. You, there's some power going on in there. Hallelujah for his power. Of his word. Bondage. Let's go back to Luke. 21, 24, and I'm going to wrap it up. Go back to Luke And I'm going to get out your way Hallelujah I'm just a nobody Trying to tell everybody About somebody Who can save Everybody <laughs> That's all I am I'm just a little old messenger That's all I is And that's all I'm going to be Luke 21 Let me turn my slow fingers there and get on out y'all way. Y'all ready for me to get out of here so we can watch some old sorry Jags. Oh, they got a bye week. Okay. They're gonna lose they gonna lose on their bye week, but I'm gonna get off of that. I'm gonna get off of that. You know I'm a Packers fan, so I'm gonna get off of that. Okay, Luke, Luke 21, 24. Let me read it one more time in your hearing. And they shall now we know who they is, right? And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. It's during Christ time. Rome is in power. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Future event, and shall be led away captive unto all nations. Ethnos, the Greek word is ethnos, Gentile, going. These are nations, all nations. 
Here's the key. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down uh -huh. of the Gentiles uh -huh. until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. I wish I had more time to tell you about the Gentiles. I wish I had more, a little bit more time, but I'm going to take a, a tinge. There was in the temple, there was a, a court for the Gentiles, right? And that's where everybody could be. Everybody, you know, uh, African folks, uh, Hebrew folks, uh, folks from every nation. But there was a part that they couldn't go in. And it was only a certain number that they could get in there. Now, this time the Gentiles must be fulfilled. Jerusalem is trodden down. America, along with Great Britain and the Pope's power, made Israel a nation. If you don't believe me, go back and look at 1948 and do some history and go back. See how it came to be a nation. But we've heard in our reading today that if Israel is scattered, then who them? They're keeping African people from coming in. Uh -huh. they, a lot of them going back. But see, as Satan is building up his kingdom, the Most High is building up his. Y'all see that? So you got two events going on right now. You have the great falling away from the faith. You have Babylon falling. But scripture said it is falling because he already seen it done. So in our time, it is falling because we live in time, right? Seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, right? So, years. So we're living in time. Babylon is falling. Great falling away from the faith. But at the same time, the Most High is shaking up Jacob or Israel. And as the, as the Holy Spirit, as the gospel of the kingdom, the good news, unadulterated. Listen, if the gospel, the true gospel had been spread already. Listen, wouldn't the end come? Right, right. Mm -hmm. So why hasn't the end come? Come on now. Tell it. There's, there, there are people who know about the gospel message in remote places because people have went there on ministries. Mm -hmm. But the gospel, well, the truth, unadulterated. unadulterated has not yet reached, but it's, it's, it's going out. Hear what the Spirit is saying. He that has an ear, let him hear. What is the Spirit of God saying? Jerusalem is being trodden down by Gentiles until it's fulfilled. Listen, go to Revelation 11 and 2, Brother Tony, and then we're going to wrap it up. If you take your notes, I won't read it all. This will be the last, this will be the last precept. Write this down. Revelation 13, chapter, verse 1 through 18. I will not read all that. For sake of time, Revelation 13, chapter, verse 1 through 18. You must read that to know the times of the Gentiles. I'm going to give you a piece of it. Read. Read that. Revelation 11 and 2. Go ahead. Listen to this. Revelation 11 and 2. Uh-huh. It says, but leave out the court which is outside the temple, and do not measure it, for it has been given to the Gentiles, and they shall tread the holy city underfoot for 42 months future event. There is coming tribulation on this earth. There's coming a time on this earth. We have heard about the rapture. Right? right? But have you heard of the first resurrection by show of hands? Have you heard of the second resurrection by show of hands? There's going to be a first resurrection unto life eternal and a second resurrection where? Unto death. Those who are still alive and remain when that trumpet sound and the dead in Christ shall what? Rise first. And those who remain shall be what? To meet who? Why? Because he's coming. John said, I saw the kingdom coming down. You ever see the movie Independence Day when that ship came through the atmosphere and just melted the the atmosphere, when he come down, he says the mountains will melt because he's coming down. He has to get us, who's, who's still here, pray that you're not. He has to get you up, rapture or caught up, mm -hmm. raptizio, catch you up to meet him where? In the air. In the air. 
That's the first resurrection. The dead in Christ rise first. You still walking? Change and twinkle another night. And it's going to be hell to pay here on this earth. Hallelujah. But until then, <laughs> Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles. Don't let nobody fool you. Say, we got to go back over to Israel. Us got to go back to Africa. There's going to come a time where we're going to have to get the hey, hey, hey out of America. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit will not leave us ignorant. He will cleft for you. And some of us going to have to go through. Me and my wife talk about it all the time. It's like, maybe we should leave. And I told her it ain't time yet. Holy Ghost will let you know when it's time. Let us know when it was time to move to Jacksonville, Florida, didn't it? <laughs> let you know when it's time for me to sit down and be quiet when I'm preaching, ain't it? <laughs> Hurry up, buddy. Come on. <laughs> so the remedy. Now that's the problem. Scattered bondage. Problem. I can't leave you out there. There's a remedy. Come on, teacher. There's a remedy. Listen to this. John 15, 14. You got it, brother? Give me John 15, 14. You get 1 John 5 and 3. This is a remedy. Listen. We got a problem. Scattered, bondage. Listen. Solution. Like a doctor. You sick? Got some medicine for you. I can't leave you like that. I got to leave you saying hallelujah. Nah, 15, 14. Listen to this. All right, you are my friends if you do whatever I command you. Jesus talking. Yes. You are my friends if you do what I say. Right. Listen what John said. For this is the love of God mm -hmm. that you keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grieving. No, no, no. Love your enemy, right? Mm -hmm. Keep my commandments. His commandments are written in what we call the Old Testament. But then what he had to do, he had to tell you the spirit of the law or Torah. The spirit of it, false teachers had added and took away. Then he just came and said, look, let me show y'all something. <laughs> if you are a friend of Jesus Christ, you're going to do what he commands. I dare any of you to look up his laws, statutes, and commandments. And what we call the Old Testament. They're not done away with, brothers and sisters. They're not. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ain't that what got Israel in trouble? That's what gets us in trouble. We keep putting things before God, right. before Christ. Right. Remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. Uh-oh. Remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. I tell you, my brothers and sisters, Every time I stand in a church on a Sunday, the Holy Spirit has commanded me to remind you of that commandment. Because when there was a, when they were tilling the fields, after seven years, the ground needed a Shabbat, needed a rest. Right? Why? Because they have been tilling. You tilling on your job for six days a week. Six days, man. We making money for other people. He said, remember the Sabbath. Keep it holy. Huh, wait a minute. I'm in the land of my oppressor. How can I keep the Sabbath fully? He knows this. And he forgives you. You have an advocate who pleads your case. Hallelujah. Keep Sunday service. I dare any of you to check out the blessing behind the Sabbath. I found it out. I had to study this thing for 13 years. I kept we start keeping it. Feast days. I told my kids I'm going to take their holidays from them, but I'm going to give them their feast days. Yeah. And man, we have a celebration. Yeah. I'm going to invite you to the next yeah. one. When I tell you we celebrate them feast days unto Christ, yeah. not the way of Old Testament. Yeah. Keep my commandments. We kept them. We done away with the Christmas. I'm not beating up on y'all. Y'all know I did it Christmas and all the holidays. I know I did all that. Mm -hmm. But I came out because I had to research it for myself. And then I saw the blessing behind it. Yes, sir. Right. And I believe my family is blessed behind it. So I, I will be 
remiss or it would be bad if I didn't share that with you all. You are a friend of Jesus Christ if you keep his commandments. His commandments he got from the Father himself. He didn't say anything that the Father didn't say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything he said, the law and the prophets. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I come to fulfill until all is fulfilled. So he walked around with his fringes on. Remember the lady touched? If I could just touch that. If I could just. Why are you wearing these? When I graduated from uh, Liberty University, mm -hmm. my wife put fringes on my robe. <laughs> he said, this, 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 this man said, hey, bud, where, why you got them fringes on? And I explained it to him. I said, these fringes represent, you know, Jesus Christ said, I'm his friend, told me, if you love me, keep my commandments. So this just kind of remind me. Sometimes I, I mean, the Holy Spirit is working inside of me. It's not taking the place of the Holy Ghost. But you ever get like really angry or something? Like, you know, I don't know. Just something to remind. Me. I'm not. I have not yet arrived. None of us have. But hallelujah for the Holy Spirit, Amen. who leads us into all truth. So they, we must worship God in what? Spirit and the truth. Our ancestors. I'm gonna say this and sit down. Grandmama, great grandmama had the spirit, didn't they? Grandmama couldn't hardly read and write. We was always a spiritual people. That's all we had. Even when they took our identity from us. Even when they oppressed us and did all kinds of things to us as a people. We still had what? The spirit. And the spirit is true. But watch what we got today. To 2019, we learned the truth about some things. They got a thing called DNA now. You start checking your DNA, you're like, wait a minute, I'm a... I'm what? <laughs> now my blood is telling me I'm Israel. <gasps> First the word told me. Now my blood and science is telling me now. What you going to do about it? We going to continue in disobedience? Or we going we gonna to walk the way Christ walked? In fullness. And be light and salt. If salt loses its taste... Back to back to bland. No paprika. <laughs> no hot sauce. I like hot sauce. Just bland. Repent. Return. That's all I have. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Sister Smith, for giving me this opportunity. And I